Hey guys, welcome back to Texas Young Guns. Uh, in this video, we're going to be talking about Tyler State Park, located in Northeast Texas. Uh, this park is called Tyler State Park, and it is somewhat close to the city of Tyler. Um, however, it's really closer to a town called Lindale, which is where Miranda Lambert's from, right? The home of Miranda Lambert. Oh yeah, so if you like country music, or really pretty much everybody nowadays should know who Miranda Lambert is. Mm -hmm. So this is obviously a state park, so it's very woodsy. Um, it's got a little lake there. So if you're someone who likes to go camping and get that outdoorsy feel, this is definitely the place for you. Yes, so you know us by now, if you keep up with our channel, we like more nature feel. Our dogs like the nature feel. They do. Yeah, they hate resorts, So, but they love frolicking around and chasing their toys in the woods, so. Yeah. Um, and so immediately when you pull in, you kind of see that number one, it's huge. Um, and that it's just, you are right smack dab in the middle of the woods there. So like most state parks, uh, with the nature kind of theme, they have several things to do out in nature, such as canoeing. Um, they have trails for you to walk on. They actually have trails specific for, um, bike bicycling. I think they have ATV trails as well, mm -hmm. about 13 miles worth of trails, according to their website. And there are lots of trails there. We actually, if you watched our last video, we partook uh, in the biking trails and in some of the hiking trails. So yeah. very beautiful. Mm -hmm. And there's easier trails, harder trails, trails for everybody. Yeah. And at the centerpiece of this park is a lake. Uh, it's about 64 acres. So plenty of room to get out in your canoe or your, your small little kayak. And go fishing, um, which, by the way, they do have. They have catfish, bass, and several other smaller species of fish. Um, if you're big into fishing, this lake has there. There is a lake there for you. Yep, but you might get skunked like we did. Yeah, we definitely got skunked. Although, technically, we weren't really trying that hard. Yeah, we just fished from the bank, but, you know, nothing like wet in the line while you're there. Yeah. <laughs> so, like Lana said, this park is humongous um, like most state parks in texas i assume um, it's it's large um, now one cool thing when we were driving in they're actually building a brand new nature center oh which, we think that's what it is yeah we think that's what it is there wasn't really any signs but it seemed pretty yeah, like obvious a nature visitor center type thing yeah you know like where you go and learn about the different creatures in the area mm -hmm. um, do little park ranger stuff uh, they were building that brand new so i suspect that will be done here in 2023, probably the first half. Mm -hmm. um, so as you drive through the park, they have tons of tent camping. They have cabins, which some have AC, I think, and some don't, which is pretty typical of a state park. Um, and then they also have RV spots, obviously. That's why we're there. Um, now, most of the spots that we saw were like those crescent-shaped spots. Well, I just think that's the spot we were in because it yeah. made a loop so all the spots had to be you know on a loop but that's just where we happen to stay yeah so I'll, I'll put on the screen here where we stayed we were in spot 333 um, which basically is a big circle the area we were in of uh, camping spots mm -hmm. and all of them were crescent shaped now if you have a bigger trailer kind of like what we'd have um, it's a little bit of a struggle to get into the spot because um, they're kind of short crescent shaped spots um, and they had these wooden six by sixes, the timbers that kind of are around the concrete part. So there was a couple of couples that were struggling to pull in and leave. Yeah, it's tricky. You definitely are going to have to spot each other to get in right. Yep. That's where that marriage communication comes in. The marriage mm, test can really make you or break you there. <laughs> yeah. So like at most state parks, you can get full hookups, which is what we had. So we had water electricity sewer um not all sites have that but it's available i would just recommend you book early if you know that that's what you want um and then also like you mentioned it's super close to town it's about 15 minutes from the town of lindale so for instance we had to go in and get some supplies at a walmart happened to stop at a starbucks while we were there um they you know have restaurants and things like that so it's nice being you have the woods if you want to be the woods but if you want to venture out for the day there's also that av available for you yeah um by the way tip the gas station right outside the entrance of the park mm. has fantastic gelato 
Yeah, and this was like really random. We partook in the New Year's Day festivities where you like biked, you hiked, and you did kayaking and all that kind of stuff. And it happened, I mean, it wasn't hot, but it was warmer. And we just were ready for, we felt like we had earned something delicious. And so we were actually like trying to find maybe like a Froyo place or something. But he said, well, let's stop. Let's go into this gas station because we need a, to fill the truck up or something. And it just so happened I walked in and there it was, the gelato. It is very good. So I recommend stopping in there and getting you a cone. Yep. And they also sell the Miranda Lambert wines there. We didn't oh, get yeah, any, but it's available there. I'm surprised we didn't actually. I know. Now we are people that we take showers in our rig. That's the whole point to us is we want all of our comforts right there where we are. Now I know some of you, and I don't understand it, but to each their own, like to take showers in the shower houses and the bath houses. Let me just tell you and for warn you that number one, they're sparse. Like there was one small shower house for the whole circle where we stayed. Number two, they look like something out of a prison scene. Not yeah. that I've been to prison. Don't go there. But it was like, you know, you had the metal. The stainless. Stainless toilets. toilets. And, you know, you had the rust coming down from the showers. It's just not for me. Yeah. Tyler State it's Park. It's a no for me. It, they have a lot of stuff going for this park. But the bathhouses, I think they need a little bit of a remodel. Yeah. And it could have just been, you know, maybe they're working on updating it, whatever. But where we stayed, it's a no for me. <laughs> mm -mm. Those showers are very scary looking. Yeah, that I would not. Mm -mm. It's like a murder scene. Yeah, it's like prison. <laughs> you have like the the steel toilets and then the all rusted. <laughs> God, it stinks <laughs> over here. Smells bad over here. We gotta vacate. So back to the activities of this park. Like Lana mentioned, they have stuff going on all the time. Uh, but if you don't want to participate in the events and you're just kind of hanging out with your family, maybe even just a day trip or something. Uh, they do have a designated swimming area, which there's no fishing allowed there, which we found out. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Make sure you read the signs. Yeah. Because usually I don't, but luckily I did. Yeah. So even though it's a big lake, Tyler State Park, they do have certain areas that are off limits to fishing. I think because they're trying to promote swimming and Nobody activities. likes to get hooked while they're swimming. That's I get right. it. Yep. So the lake does have more than just fishing, and there are areas to hang out, like picnic areas, and stuff like that if maybe you're just a day user mm -hmm. um, yeah, like there was some guy in one of those what are those hobby cat things oh yeah so he it seems like it's not a lake that gets super rough so that would probably work out well for you i didn't see any like boats out no it's not the lake's not really big enough for boats and you know if they were i'm not sure they allowed motored boats yeah anyways. but you can swim fish bring one of those Pedal your way boats. <laughs> the, the Hobie cats or whatever um, they call them. And just like one of the trails goes the whole perimeter of the lake. It's a, I mean, it's pretty like if you just like sitting out by the water, then it serves its purpose. Yep. So as far as the spots go, uh, specific to the spots, most of the spots that we saw were full, full hookup, um, which is semi rare for like a state park in Texas, at least. Um, they had sewer, water, electricity, of course, 50 amp, 30 amp. Um, those are the basics of the site. Uh, you get like a picnic table and a fire ring, um, and you get one of those lantern hangers or trash hangers. Nobody ever knows. What People argue for. what those are for, but anyway. So as far as the sites go, they're pretty standard. Um, one odd thing I thought about where we stayed is that typically when you stay in a state park, they kind of situate you where you have like the front side of your camper and the and the other side of your camper maybe to hang around. This one, everyone kind of faced towards the center. So you really didn't have like your own area, so to speak. You it's did. It's like a communal area. Yeah. So the way you park is like when you step out the door, you're facing towards the inner circle. But that's just where we stayed. There, yeah. I mean, we ventured and drove around and there's some normal spots. But, you know, if you want a specific spot, I would say book months in advance here. Because yes. we just got lucky and I think someone canceled because it was New Year's day weekend mm -hmm. when we were there and probably somebody canceled because of weather or whatnot um so we just got lucky 
But if you know you want a specific site, then definitely book months in advance or else you're just going to kind of have to take what you can get if you can get anything, kind of like we did. Mm -hmm. Um, But, yeah, it's more of like a communal space, the center area. Yeah, so Tyler State Park, like she was alluding to, is extremely popular. So if you want to stay here, book months in advance. Yes, and going back to that lantern, trash, whatever that thing is. You, you should, you will use it if you stay where we stayed because we often saw armadillos out. Yeah. And that was kind of strange. And so I think they were getting into people's trash because everyone was kind of talking about it. And they were using those. And I don't know that it was the armadillos, but we saw them and our dogs saw them and the neighbor's dogs saw them and they were not happy about it. Yeah. Um, something else that this park provides is firewood. So we're actually really short, running short on firewood at our house, um, which we normally bring our own firewood with us. Uh, but they do sell it there. So you're able to buy it from the park directly if you want some firewood to burn. Maybe some toast some marshmallows to do mm-hmm. some s'mores or some popcorn. It did not burn very easily because everything was kind of wet because of this time of the year we were there. Um, so we had to use those fire starter log things to get it going, but we got it going. Um, and on top of that, there the fire wood is right next to like where the hosts are. And there's pretty much a host, I think, at a- every little area, every little circle or campground mm-hmm. area. So there was a ton of workers there, and it's probably the most amount of park rangers I've ever seen. Yeah, there's a lot of workers there for sure. And it could have been just because they were putting on this big event, but there were a ton of workers. Yeah, so we were there obviously during New Year's, um, so they did do special events. They actually did like a, what do they call that, a triathlon or? Triathlon, but it was like T-R-Y, so it was like the New Year, try something different. Yeah, so they had canoeing, hiking. It's kayaking, not canoeing. Whatever. (laughs) Um, They had all three that you could participate in the whole time you are there. Well, guys, that's really it. Uh, Pretty standard state park uh, for the state of Texas. Um, It's very nice. If you're thinking about going there, I would not hesitate. Nope. Um, I would probably rate this park probably a 7 or 8 out of 10. What would you rate it? I'll go with that. 7 or 8 out of 10. That's pretty fair for this park. Yeah. Um, I think the reason that this park is so talked about is because of its location. Yeah. You know, we were looking up and you're about an hour 15 from Dallas. And so I think it's a lot of people that are in like the Metroplex area kind of come out that way to escape the city. So I think that is why this park is so talked about. Yeah, so I think uh, people who live in, like, the Houston area, like us, we're not in Houston, but we're in the general area. Uh, We'll go to, like, Huntsville State Park Mm -hmm. and different things like that. But I think this is the main park for, like she said, the Dallas area. But it's super nice, and, I mean, we were, I would go back. Yeah, absolutely. It's a very nice park. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. Remember that we do videos just like this. Um, We also do vlogs at the sites different reviews so make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel we try to put out a video every week not always successful but generally uh, almost every week we're putting out a video so we hope to see you on the next one bye